Hey, what is up guys? So I just got off of a coaching call with my premium students and there is still a lot of confusion over is your domain verified? Why am I getting this error inside the ads manager saying that my domain is not connected to an event? And so in this video, I want to help you with a checklist that I just gave my premium students and I'm going to give that checklist to you guys. So if you want the checklist to make sure that you're doing everything that you need in order to verify your domain and create these aggregated events that Facebook now wants us to use after the iOS software update comes into effect, we want to make sure that we're prepared before that, because if we're not prepared, any ads that we have running with our old events are going to be paused. And so we want to make sure that we are prepared. And so what I'm going to do right now is I'm actually going to share my screen because like I said, I created a checklist for my students and I just thought that I would just pop up on here and just be super helpful to you guys because I know so many people are still struggling when it comes to what do I have to do exactly? Okay. So I created this handy dandy Google document and I'll show you what I mean. So whenever you're opening up your, your ads manager, events manager, you're seeing like all of these up important updates and changes and, and all of that fun stuff. We'll get there in just a second, but right here, I created this checklist. So the very first thing that we need to do and why we need to do it is we need to make sure that we have a custom domain. So if you have a ClickFunnels account, lead pages, all of those software funnel type things, what Facebook wants us to do is it wants us to connect those to a custom domain. So if I have laurelportier.com slash, I mean, laurelportier.cartra.com, it wants me to actually get a domain, laurelportier.com. It doesn't want us anymore to be using these secondary domains that are coming with these software platforms, which I think is very smart for Facebook to do because over the summer, like I had so many of my client accounts that were getting flagged because they were still using the ClickFunnels thing and come to find out someone was using ClickFunnels as a phishing scheme. And so somehow the ClickFunnels domain got flagged in the Facebook system. And so everyone who was using like ClickFunnels domain started getting their ad accounts like shut down and ads turned off and it was a big hoopla thing. So I think that this is a really good move for Facebook to move in this direction. So the number one thing on the checklist is to actually get your domain verified, okay? Now, the second thing that you're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna make sure that that custom domain is actually applied to every step of the funnel. So if your sales page um, is on ClickFunnels and you get it on a custom domain, we wanna make sure that your checkout page, your thank you page, your membership, everything is within that custom domain. Otherwise, Facebook is not going to be able to track it, okay? So those are the first two things. The first thing is getting a custom domain. And the second thing is making sure that every page that you're running ads to or want to track within the Facebook platform is connected to that custom domain, okay? Now, once that's done, the third thing that you want to do is you want to verify your domain with Facebook. And I've got step-by-step, -step. I'm not going to go over that process here. Facebook did an amazing video that literally walks you through. It takes like five seconds and I've got it inside the checklist. So if you want this checklist, just drop me some love below and I will just send it to you. No, you don't need an email or anything. I'm just, this is, this video is for me to be helpful. Okay. So once you do the whole domain verification, um, make sure that all of your standard event codes are installed on the proper pages. So if you have a discovery call funnel, you want to make sure that your lead is on, you know, the, after the opt-in your, um, initiate, you know, schedule is on the schedule page. Your submit application is after the, they submit their application and the schedule is on the confirmation that says that they've booked a call. Those are just some of ex examples of the standard events that I use for a discovery call funnel, but at the end of the day, you want to make sure that, hey, if you have a sales page, that your purchase event is on that thank you page. And here's what you need to do, because this is where things get tricky, okay? So Facebook wants us to start using something that they're calling these aggregated event measurements if we come down right here, okay? So I'm inside the events manager. If I come here, it's this little thing. So what Facebook actually wants us to do is it wants us to use aggregated events using its API. And the thing is, is with the new software update, it's only gonna allow us to have eight events set up, okay? So eight events per domain. And so it wants us to actually install 
our standard events, but it wants us to use these aggregated event measurement. And so that's where this checklist actually comes into play because you have to do things in the order that I was just talking about because here's the thing, a lot of people are trying to set up their aggregated events, but what they're finding is that their standard event codes are not showing up and here's why. It took me a little digging to figure this out, um, but what you need to do after, so after you verify your domain with Facebook, here's what you need to do. You need to go back to your funnel and then you need to refresh each step of your funnel pages to get your pixel to fire after the domain verification. Then whenever we go back here into this checklist right here, when we go back into the events manager and we go to configure our web events, then you're gonna to wanna to select the domain that you verified. And then I'm gonna to go to edit events. And then what it's going to show you is it wants you to select your eight events according to the standard events. Now, one thing that you might notice is, oh my gosh, you might not have any standard events showing up right here. Like where am I, where are my standard events? Remember, I told you in the step before this, what we need to do is we need to make sure that we have fired either that custom conversion or that standard event after the verification process. Now, this may take 40 up to 48 hours for your events to show up here, okay? Another thing that you need to take note is, you see right here how I have highest priority. We're going to have to set events that are going to be of highest priority. So I'll give you an example. So let's say that I have a lead magnet that goes into a purchase. Facebook wants us to set the priority because it's only going to track one of those events inside the ads manager. And so we always want to put which conversion event is the highest priority for Facebook to track. In my case, it's the purchase. I don't have a lead magnet. But if you have a lead magnet, you might want your highest priority to be set up for the lead. Okay, so that's how some of this stuff is going to work. And like I said, there's a lot more to it. And I put everything inside this handy dandy checklist and I'll be happy to give this to you. Um, hopefully it'll make your life easier. I know my students are telling me that it's making their lives easier already. And that's my whole point of doing these videos is to make your life easier. So if you guys have any questions at all, drop them in the, drop me a line below. If you want this checklist, just drop me a line below and I'll have my assistant deliver it straight to your Facebook messenger. And I hope that you guys have an amazing day and I hope that this stuff is not driving you too crazy.